Uh, President Burke and members of the Gilbert School Board, my name is Harry Matthews. I am a homeowner and taxpayer in Gilbert. I recently reviewed 10 novels at the curriculum office which were on display for public perusal. Nine out of 10 books heavily promote multiculturalism. Thomas Sowell, senior fellow on public policy at the Hoover Institution, Stanford University, describes multiculturalism this way. What multiculturalism boils down to is that you can praise any culture in the world except Western culture. And you cannot blame any culture in the world except Western culture. Bill Whittle of PJTV describes multiculturalism as a bitterness studies. Another way to look at it is instead of e pluribus unum, e unum pluribus. Instead of America as the great melting pot, America as the great mosaic, one in which all cultures, except American Western culture, are honored and separate but equal. In other words, segregated and de-assimilated. Academics in the liberal arts also refer to this as deconstructionism. I prefer to call it what it is, bigotry and anti-Americanism. I recently watched a forum called State of Race in America 2012, featuring Carlos Ibanez, the head of the ASU School of Chicano Studies, also known as the School of Transporter Studies. I have personally spoken to the man, and I can tell you that he is a racist who hates America. He gets paid nearly $200,000 a year, paid in part by my tax dollars, to tell everyone that people of color are victims of white privilege. In other words, white skin is oppressive. Based on his salary alone, I would say that he is not among the downtrodden. But I digress. There is no doubt in my mind that whoever suggested these multicultural books did so out of a sense of compassion. This doesn't surprise me because our universities are chock-a-block with professors like Mr. Ibanez. I would like to suggest that we reject these books that promote race hatred and hatred of America, but if you can't do that, then let me suggest that we use an equal number of books that tell about the positive attributes of the United States of America, the freest, most prosperous country to ever exist, so that we can at least have some diversity of thought. I can certainly suggest a few books like that myself, and perhaps some of you could too. Thank you for your time.